What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the foundation. My name is Splattercat, very very- okay, foundation, there's no the in front of it. I added an extra the, I'm being really bad at my job. My job is to show you guys indie games and I'm getting the titles wrong. It's fine, feel free to flagellate me, it's okay. I like the beatings and the pain. So anyways, welcome on back. This is our little village where we have one little hut that somebody lives inside of, hut one. There is no hut two, unfortunately, so I think our chances of making it to hike are going to be somewhat limited today. But, we're doing alright. They want me to build a Lord Manor right now, and they want me to have like a... Let's see here, at the end of the month we could promote a villager to surf. I don't, I don't know if I want to promote a villager to surf. I mean, we can, I guess, if you want. It's a possibility. Right now they're below surf. Man, that's kind of depressing. That's a depressing thing to think about when you're like so low on the totem pole that you're beneath surf. Feels bad. Feels real. Apparently they don't want to live in this area over here because it's trashy and crappy and definitely not classy. Uh, we do have some money. If I had like five, I guess we should probably just make the lords. Oh, they built another house over here. Nice. Good for you guys. Well done. I would like my people to live inside of homes. It reflects well upon me as a just, noble, definitely not despotical lord. It reflects well on me. The happiness with which all of you live reflects on me. Therefore, I want to see smiles. Smiles on everyone's face. Mm, big grins. Come on. Uh, so for right now, we have money. I'm kind of poor. But we could, like, buy a new area if we wanted to. So, like, we could buy something, like, down here if we really, really required it. It would cost us, like, all of the monies in the worlds, which would kind of get us into trouble. The other thing that we could do is we have our estate manager over here. Uh, we have a warehouse that we've already done. They want us to go through, and they want us to make a Lord's Keep. I don't know where I want to put the Lord's Keep, so there's the Lord Manor right there. It'll take planks. And so, obviously, we're going to have to have somebody over here taking, let's see here, we've got the lumber camp. A sawmill would be the next thing that we actually 100% require in order to get this stuff done. I would say having the sawmill back here is probably a reasonably decent idea. Just kind of, like, hide it from everything else. I don't want these things to be too close because they've changed this since the last time I played the game. There's areas where people will not want to be. This was not a thing the last time I played the game. And so really, what I'm waiting on for right now is I just need these guys to clear out- No, that was not what I wanted. What I need for right now is I just kind of needed these guys to clear out all the trees over on the other side. And if they could clear out all of Das trees on the other side, like- oh, No, that was not what I wanted either. There. See, now it's got like a weird- This is the problem with editing. This is the problem right here with editing zones is you end up with these weird little oblong looking bastards all over the place and it makes me feel- not organized. Perfect. So people have houses now. Hopefully they'll build another one down here, although I'm a little bit worried about our space. As far as extraction goes, we don't want to extract from right there, so we'll get rid of that. Our sawmill is going to be on the up and up really, really soon. Once the sawmill is all good to go, I don't know how many people I have at the moment who are not actively working. Uh, I do think that some people are going to need to be reassigned jobs, but we can kind of visit that momentarily. I want it... Where's my, where's my peasantry window? There we go. So is anybody, like, not doing anything right now? Actually, everybody has a job at the moment, so unless we've got multiple people doing multiple things at multiple locations, we're gonna have to wait for our next round of immigration, I think, before things are gonna get any better. Do we have any warnings? Severity is high. Everything is good, but everything is good at a high severity. That's what I like to see. That's not a worrisome sentence at all. That doesn't panic me for a moment. And what do we need over here? 20 woods? Okay, well, Steven and Gunter, I need you guys to really, really be doing your thing right now. Knock it on out for me, would you? As far as trade goes, which I really think is our next objective, uh, if you can get trade, so, uh, we, need to have train la we need to have trade lanes that are all set up. That way we can get more tools. Uh, some people run into this gotcha when they play this game where they're like, all right, well, you start out with a certain amount of tools. Where did all of my tools go? They're all gone now, and now I can't build buildings, and I can't do any industry, and I can't do anything interesting. Uh, you get around that by creating a trade lane as soon as possible. And so what we can do is we can send things that we're making here out and over to them, or we can set it up so that every year we just buy a certain amount of tools, and that will cost us some money, but if we're flush with cash like we are right now, like we're generating plus 11 at the moment, It'll be okay. It shouldn't be that big of a deal just buying the stuff that- Is it raining right now? I think it's raining right now. Everybody needs to put on their rain hats just in case. 
We've got 24 wood that's been collected. I am really, really hoping that these guys like fully finish off this forest so that I can knock this out and turn this entire area into like a residential spot. That would be my preference if we could get rid of it. Uh, this is done. So let's assign a villager. Whoever the new guy was that was unassigned, congratulations, you are now working at the sawmill. What he's going to do is he's going to take some of this wood right here. We've got two wood, and it'll get converted into one plank. And that way we can start having a plank supply so that we can start thinking about where we want the Lord's Manor to be. I was really hoping somebody would build a house right here too, but I think with the unpleasant land that they have right here, they're probably going to avoid it until I bulldoze this. I don't know if trees or empty space have anything to... I think it's mostly just the lumber camp, I think. I think that's what's causing the problem, because if you look down here, there's no trees down here, but the desirability is still decent. I mean, it's still low desire. Apparently, it probably has something to do... It probably has something to do with accessing services as well, would be my thought. So, I mean, we can totally reroute the city if you want to. We can put this over here. And we can turn, like, this entire area into, like, a residential zone if we wanted to give it a go. This area does seem to be pretty desirable, so maybe they'll do something with it. Who knows? I was going to make this my town square area anyways. Our treasury, not really that stocked up right now for the main reason that we don't have a treasury. Uh, all of the money that we're keeping at the moment is pretty much just kind of rattling around in our pockets for right now. So there's not going to be a whole lot we can do to change that. But, because we have so many things going on, it's probably a good idea to start the Lord's Manor, which is kind of large. Uh, we've got the Lord's Manor core right here. Yeah, so we can put that down, like, I don't know. We can probably we can rotate that, and then we can pro I think we can raise and lower the elevation of it, too, but I don't remember exactly how to do it. Yeah, we can do that right there. We can raise it, or we can lower it. That's going to cost us 36 wood to get done. All right, well, the Lord's Manor is right there. It's going to need a door. So we can slap a door onto the front of it. And then we've got a tower. Apparently that's got a maintenance cost. It can be assigned a function. We also have a wood extension right there. But I'm pretty sure this increases the size of our treasury. We've got 18 planks rocking right now. Uh, let's go ahead and we can do like wood extensions or whatever on the sides. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but we can do it. We could put a, yeah, put a wood extension right there. And then we can have like a little wooden tower that we can slap onto one of these. It looks good. Sounds good. All right, start the construction of it. Once that's all nice and done, we can apparently promote some of our villagers. But for right now, we're just going to be sitting around waiting for this to be all over. Now, what's it going to take us to get? It's probably going to take a long ass time to get this done would be my thought. Uh, so we've got the Lord Manor with the parts right now. We've got 16 planks going on in there. Yeah, this is going to be a long-term project that doesn't necessarily get done right this second. But this is like a mandatory part of our city that we have to have. And I'm pretty sure that having one is going to double our gold capacity, which will allow us to acquire one of these neighboring tiles. Which, actually, I think we've kind of outgrown the area in which we live. And so it's probably a good idea to get that rolling. I don't know. We'll let it chill for a second, and we'll let it kind of like see what it's doing. And then we'll figure things out after that. So as you can see, the first part of our manor is done. The place where the Lord lives, where he resides, where all may come to look upon his majesty, for he is the Laird. And we haven't gotten our little extension done on the side just yet. I'll probably assign the little extension on the side to be a treasury, would be my thought. So we can prioritize the building construction right there. She's bringing that on out. Good. Uh, we can also edit if you want to. That's actually a thing that you can do as well. Later on, if you wanted to add more stuff to this building, that is 100% possible if you wanted to make it a little bit more big and a little bit more extravagant. Apparently, we've got a chimney right there that'll knock up my splendor. Why not? Let's have a chimney. Where should the chimney go? I'll probably put the chimney right there. That looks good to me. It's going to kind of come out of the side of that little roof right there, but this will be maybe the cookhouse or something like that. Maybe if you think about it, they've got like a little, you know, Dutch oven inside of there, a little beehive oven, and that's the chimney for it, for where they're cooking the Lord's meals. I don't know. I like to assign, when I do games like this, I like to assign little functions and forms to things and be like, oh, no, that's where, you know, this is like the kitchen, and this is where the Lord kind of resides. He takes his meetings in the bottom hall, but he lives upstairs. And then, you know, we've got this little tower over here, so just in case we need to exile anybody for being an asshole, we can do that with, like, minimal stress and sticks, you know? Mine, mine, we can do that with minimal sticks and stems, you know what I mean? 
I would love for all these trees to be dead very, very soon. If you could do that for me, I would never question you again. We are mashing out planks right now. That's really, really good. I'm glad to see how much quicker this happened. I was figuring it's probably going to take about 10 minutes to build this thing. But at the end of the day, it actually only took about two. So now we need to assign a function to these buildings. Which, actually, weirdly enough, I don't see. So last time I played the game, this little menu right here, where it says the Lord Manor and it has the parts, there would be a little button, like, down in here that said Assign Function. I don't know if that's been moved. But basically, the idea was that, like, you've got this wooden tower, we could assign it to be a treasury, and then this wood extension, we could assign it to be a treasury so we could store more gold, and then with the core right here, we could assign it to be the Great Hall. But, I don't see the button, so I'm gonna have to dig up where that moved to, I think. I It used to be there. Why it's not there now, I don't know, but it used to be. Okay, so I dug around for a little bit, and we've got a bug. Uh, early access being what it is. So we've got a bug. Uh, sometimes what'll happen... Oh no, the chimney's not done. Is that what it is? Is the chimney done? Let's look. Is the chimney finished? I think the chimney might have been, like, blocking it off. I don't know. So, basically, we've got a bug. We've got a bug that, like, sometimes the building will conclude construction, but you still won't be able to, like, do anything with what you've got going on. It's, like, I've read that it's because maybe things didn't snap into place properly, or it might just be whatever. I don't know. But what we can do is we can knock off this wooden tower right here. There we go. It was the wooden tower that was messed up. So there we go. The box is back. Um... Kind of problematic, but you know, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, maybe we'll go with like a tower, like over on that side. Well, that looks kind of ugly though. I don't know if I want a tower right there. A tower is kind of dumb. Uh, let's just open up. We'll snap in another extension right there. That looks good. And then we'll start construction on it. And so what we can do is we can assign this the Great Hall. And then the wood extension, we can make that into a treasury, which will increase the amount of money we can hold, as you can see, by about 210, which is very, very nice. Let us stack up a little bit more Skrilla while we're trying to work on our villa out here. Uh, this guy can be bulldozed, and so that lumber camp can be gone. That's no biggie anymore. And then the other thing, that did the desirability go up when I got rid of that lumber camp? It did. It did. It went up by a bunch. So now what we can do... Is we can just turn this entire area into a living quarter, and hopefully they will add that. The sawmill being back there, that's going to be a little bit of a block. But we can put in another, let's see here, lumber camp. And we can drop that like right, I don't know, like right out back right there. Looks good to me. Is it back there? Yeah, it is. I can see it right there. They've just got to go. Oh, it's going to take five more tools to get that done. Horrifying. Didn't really want to use up that many tools. There's a lot of tools in this village, but I need each and every one of them. All right? Each and every tool is important to the way this all functions. Uh, we will call a study room. We can use to study blueprints and learn their secrets. Oh, really? That's a thing, huh? It's Henry! Henry, go be a scholar, Henry. Uh, and then we've got one unemployed person, but we can put a scholar inside of there. I've never seen the study room before. That's a new thing that they have recently added to the game. I'm learning all kinds of new stuff today. Uh, yeah, you guys go get that done right there, and then it'll reassign automatically the people that are already lumber harvesters. They'll knock out the remainder of this forest on this side. We've got so many forest tiles around us that I don't really feel like it's that important to panic ourselves too entirely about what we can and cannot provide. I think we're in pretty solid shape. Can I just move this building around? Is that possible? Like, what if I just wanted to, like, move this back? Because I am interested in having more stalls over here. But, like, I kind of want it to be moved back a little bit. I guess it doesn't want to do that. The good news is we've got new houses being built. Oh, never mind. Are they rebuilt? Did that house get bulldozed? Or are they upgrading this house right here? They might be upgrading this house, I think. Yeah, because they've got a capacity of six now. So I think they're actually upgrading these to like tier two longhouses. Two more people have decided to join our village. Very nice. Okay, let's slow the game down ever so slightly. We'll leave it on like double speed because we don't have to go too crazy out here. Are you guys... Are you guys getting wood back here? I'm going to throw another villager on it just in case. Maybe they're taking a little break. Maybe they're taking a little breaky break out here. What is that? Is that like a little... What is this little thing on the side right here? 
Is that like a little shed or something? Oh no, it's like a little house. My bad. I didn't mean to call somebody's hard won real estate with their hard work. I didn't mean to call it. I didn't mean to call it a shed. I didn't realize people could live in a space that small. I'm the Lord. Look at my house. Look at it. My house is awesome. My house is the jam. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I didn't know. I didn't know. I wasn't trying to offend anybody or upset anybody. It was just kind of a accidental identification, okay? Well, apparently the houses are all done, and everybody is super happy right now. That's a good thing. I like it when people are happy. Uh, we need 20 planks in order to unlock this, so hopefully people will get to work and we'll start stacking up some wood before too long. I don't think we have anybody that's, like, left out in the cold and unable to work right now. I still get the feeling that my lumberjacks are not lumberjacking. We can also set up limits, by the way. I forget where I do that at, but there's, like, an inventories thing here. There's a workplace list. Like, there's, a, there's an inventory screen where we can set up the minimum and the maximum amount of these things that we want them to produce. And I don't recall exactly where it is. Yeah, there it is. So we've got, what does that do? We've got stockpile. What does that do? Resources being stockpiled. Yeah, there's a thing around somewhere where we can tell them how much to produce so that we can actually put like an upper level limit on planks. But I don't recall exactly where we do that at. But either way, let's set up our trade lane real fast. So we can unlock this for 20 planks right here. There we go. We now have a trade lane. And what we can do with said trade lane is what do they want? So they'll buy berries, they'll buy polished stone, they'll buy planks, and they'll buy some other stuff. Okay. Um, what I would suggest is that maybe... Let's see here. So buy until inventory reaches the value. Sell all above the value of, let's say... Oh, I don't know. All above the value of 75. And we can reappraise that value a little bit later. So we should be selling like 40-something berries every single time they go on out. And then we want to buy to 15 tools every single time we have a trade caravan from them. And I think this little guy right here is the guy that's a trader. Yeah, so he's coming from the neighboring kingdom. He's looking to sell us tools, and he's looking to buy our berries. We're full up on money right now. That's bad. We don't want to be full up on money. So let's buy a new territory, shall we? I think it's a good idea. Let's grab... Yeah, let's grab that guy right there. And then we'll buy that guy right there. So we've got two new territories that we can build inside of. And I think that's going to be really, really good. That's also going to increase the amount of revenue that we've got coming in because we've got more raw resources over there just like waiting to be used. Uh, where's the trader guy at? Is the trader guy anywhere? At least if we've got a bugged lumber camp over here, which I've got a sneaking suspicion that we might. What are they doing? This is driving me nuts. What are they all doing over there? My lord, for a certain cost, you can promote some of your villagers to higher statuses. Alright, promote them, man. Do what you're gonna do. That'll give us access to more advanced buildings. I'm pretty sure it costs us more money, though. Your army is growing stronger. We will offer you more missions. I don't really have an army. I mostly have just, like, a gaggle of really smelly, sweaty peasants. Like, I wish I could say that I had more of that around here, but I, oh, it's because we don't have, I know what happened. I know what happened. Oh my God, I look like an idiot. I look like an idiot. I know what happened. Extraction zones were messed up. Oh yeah, didn't give them extraction zones. What was throwing off, what was throwing me off right there is thusly. They were producing wood out of nowhere over here and I don't know how. I think it's because there might have been like one little tree over on this side that was like in the way. There we go. Your extraction zones are now set up. Go get me some more wood, boys. You have my permission to destroy the entire environment now that I've wasted like a lot of time. I edited this down, you know, to kind of avoid the amount of idiocy that you guys would have seen in this video. I'm sure I'm going to get comments anyways, but I edited it down. But I sat here for an absurdly long amount of time just staring at these dudes being like, is it bugged? What's happening here? 
Because, like, sometimes they would come back over here, and they would get wood, and they would walk back over to here, but I didn't see them go out and chop anything. And so I was like, mm, something odd was afoot. All right, everybody's foot is odd, but that's what I'm saying. Maybe, oh, they're building another house back here, too. Nice! Authorize the housing density upgrade? I don't know what that does. I believe that, like, it's how close in proximity they can build stuff, if I remember correctly. Now let's go ahead and we've marked all this stuff for residential, right? Yeah, keep on marking things for residential. The more residential we can put in, the happier a camper Splatty will be. It's time for our village to grow. There we go. Much better. Looks good to me. They should start mashing out houses at like their fastest convenience at this point. How many unassigned villagers do I have? I have three unemployed people. Okay. Well, let's add them to some of these other places. We'll get another stone cutter out here. We'll get another forager. And then I've already got this fully assigned, right? This is already like maxed out. Hey, stop that. What has happened here? Stop that. Yeah, that's already maxed out. So we don't have to worry about that too much. We could assign another villager to be a transporter, although I don't really see the point. I don't think it's going to be that helpful. So why bother? We are a little low on cash right now. I would like to see our money sort of spit upwards, but at the moment, we're not really selling that much stuff. We'll probably have to wait for our next trade rotation. If he comes back on in here and he buys like 50 berries at like three apiece, that'll give us like 150 bucks and then we'll be able to buy more tools, but we're kind of stopgapped out on tools right now. Oh, uh, they want me to build a warehouse too. I don't even know if I have the stuff for a warehouse right now. Yikes. I'd feel better about all this if I could buy this plot too, but we're a little bit broke right now. I don't want to put the warehouse way out on the edge of town over here, but we did secure an iron supply, which is really good. Once we start going on up and we start trying to equip a military, that's going to be very, very helpful. Let's just speed the game up for a second until we've got, like, a satisfying amount of money. Ah, good. Well, the trader came, and he just bought out all of our stuff, so that's pretty cool. I also finished off another house down here, which is unfortunate. I kind of prefer that they move all the housing over in this direction for now. I suppose I could just, like... Make it not allowed, but 10 planks and 10 stone. Yeah, I would suggest putting in a warehouse right there if we can. I was going to say, if it requires the demolition of this house, I'm okay with it. But I want the warehouse to kind of be in the central part of town. Otherwise, it's not in a great location for us to get the things done that we need to get done. And I have a very, very strict checklist right now. On that checklist are included things like eat the rest of the Pop-Tarts, make sure that you've assigned your extraction zones, you know, that kind of stuff. Sticky notes. Sticky notes everywhere. But yeah, I think the uh, the warehouse is for goods going in and woods er, and goods going out, if I remember right. What is this horseman over here? Hold up. An envoy is requesting an audience. What's he want? My lord, we need to choose who we want to help. Deliver 20 fish. I can't help anybody right now. I don't even have fish. We don't even have water near us right now. Yeah, like we're not even close to water. Like water is way over there. It's going to take us some time before we arrive at any kind of aquatic resource. In fact, I don't even think we're going to be using fish on this playthrough. Given the sheer amount of tract land that we have right now, I think we'll probably be like a farming juggernaut would be my guess. This is all going to be very, very fertile land. How you doing over here? You building the way, little buddy? Nobody joined my village? Why didn't they join my village? Was it the cholera outbreak? We've got that under control. We have lit all of the people on fire who caught cholera during the course of this episode. Trust me, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Just, you know, it'll be all right. You don't have to worry about that. I got two unemployed people. Well, guess what? You guys are now transporters. Uh, we will put tools in me. Perfect. So tools are now ready to be stored, and they've all been placed inside of there. We should not be selling the tools. We should be exclusively buying the tools. But I think we're going to have to wait a rotation until the trader comes back in. There he is right there. Let's see what happens. Slow the game down for a second so that we can get a good bird's eye view on this happening here. Okay, so we spent all of our money on tools, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted to do. And then he's going to go over there. And he's going to buy our excess berries, which is going to prop us back up with a little bit of cash. Nice. And as long as we don't, like, spend on tools or anything else, our economy should be perfectly fine. Uh, we can take a look at the list here of what we can make next. Uh, we can make ourselves a sheep farm. We can make a weaver's hut. Okay. Might be good to get that production running. We can also make a wheat farm, a windmill, and a bakery if we wanted to. 
It's also a reasonably decent idea. We can make a forester's camp over on this side. Uh, it costs a lot of money, but the forester's camp will allow us to plant more trees. For a little while, I don't think we're going to have a problem with that, and so I don't see any reason to replant trees for right now. I think we have enough of them. I will start replanting trees when I feel like we're really starting to bite into the natural environment, but for now, our village is growing, and it's getting a lot more... It's starting to show out a little bit. I love this game. I was a big fan of Banished, and like I really, truly... And deeply hope this game develops in like a really satisfying way because this is kind of the city builder that I'm hanging my hat on for right now. I'm a big city builder fan. You guys will know that about me. They don't come along very often, especially ones that are highly customizable like this one that have all kinds of little trade lanes and things that you can set up. Like there's like the perfect amount of that stuff in this game. And so I'm hoping this game really, really continues to pump out the updates. So far, the game has done a really good job with having something for you. Every two or three months, they kind of expand the gameplay in a nice way. And so I'm hoping it continues on. It's called Foundation. If you wanted to get the game for yourself, you can get it down below in the description. Sorry for getting stuck on the extraction zones for so long. They didn't mean to. It's just one of those little things that always slips your mind in this game. At least it does for me. The extraction zones always slip my mind. Always. Every single time. I will see you all later. Thank you for being here. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more. Other than that, I'll have something hot fresh for you off the Indie Skillet tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.